It's Pelle here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the simple echo transition in Autodesk. Let's get right into the tutorial here. So we're going to start off by opening up After Effects. I have a composition with FHD and 24fps. I've added in some clips here and uh, we're going to start off by making a adjustment layer. So we're going to press Ctrl Alt Y. And here we're going to go to the transition point here. Make a marker by pressing the star key. Then you can cut the adjustment layer at the end of the two first clips here. And the effect here we're going to be adding is uh, of course called echo. Here I'm going to be adjusting the echo time first and I'm going to set the echo seconds here to uh, minus 0 0.05, just like that. Then I'm going to change the echo operator to uh, maximum. So we get this kind of merged echo here, this trippy looking echo, looks pretty cool. And you guys can adjust here if you guys want the uh, echo to be fading here we can change the decay setting here it's going to have a little ghosty look here i'm actually going to keep it at one to uh, achieve the style i want uh, uh, for this transition here so i'm going to keep it at this and here at the transition point i'm going to set the number of echoes to 10 and then keyframe the number of echoes here so now you keyframe the 10 at the transition point then go to the beginning set it to zero then go to the end and set it to zero as well. After that, mark the keyframes, press F9, open up the graph. And here we're going to make a simple sharp graph. So drag these two in here on both sides, just like that. And on the top, drag these two in like that. And this is how the transition is going to look. I think it looks pretty cool with this kind of trippy, laggy echoes here. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. You can, as I said in, in the beginning, change the decay here. So you get this kind of look instead. But I think. This will match the style I'm going for. When you're done with your transition, you can copy the transition by pressing Ctrl D to your next clip. It's going to look pretty good in my opinion. Now for the final touch for this uh, whole composition and effect here, I'm going to be adding a effect from my color glitch pack, which I recently updated. So this is one of the new effects in the pack and I'm basically going to add the adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y and here I'm going to be adding the color glitch effect 39 and this is the look you will be getting now I think it looks absolutely amazing in my opinion and if you guys want to check this pack out you can use the discount code Pelle to save five dollars if you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial don't forget to check out our website with amazing editing packs just like these here and uh, yeah I will see you guys soon Take care and have a nice day.